What's up, everybody? My name is Reggie Chapman, and this is the Rundown with Reggie Chapman. And uh, alongside me, my weekly co-host Taylor Curret, and our special guest this week, Jared Joseph. Say what's up, guys? How you doing? How you what's doing? Up? I'm doing yeah. great to see Jared Joseph. And I'd like you. Drew. Drew. Still Catch you later. Great to be here, man. I'm glad, glad, glad you could be here. All right, so basically, just a quick introduction to the show. Like I said, my name is Reggie Chapman. I'm a student here at LSU, and uh, basically what the show is about is going to be you know, about sports, music, pop culture, news, just interviews with whoever I want. It'll just really just be about whatever I kind of feel like talking about, and like I said, Taylor will be alongside me every week giving you, you know, his opinion. Yes. Sports expert if Taylor Curette. If anyone cares about my opinion. They should care. They should care. So do you want to just do a quick introduction to yourself? Oh, Taylor. yeah. Okay. I'm a sports director at Tiger TV Sports. I've been here student media for like four years been at LSU for four years graduating in May and uh, just trying to do my thing man. and as for me um, uh, I'm from originally from the Bay Area um, I live here in Baton Rouge now as a student and uh, so obviously I've got a, this show will have a lot of LSU ties we'll try and tie them into it you know LSU sports is a big deal here so uh, I'll make sure to uh, talk about that um, kind of why I created the show, you know, I like to talk a lot, um, and I kind of got to doing this because I enjoy sports and just, you know, giving my opinion on general topics about what's going on in the world. And I guess my career goal is to be a, you know, broadcast journalist at a bigger stage, at a bigger stage. So, you know, if we can get this show nationally uh, syndicated, that'd Let's be dope. Do. Why not? Why not so, us? Why not us? Why not? But like I said, on today's show, we are talking about the Yeezy release. Yesterday, Kanye West... He had his uh, his uh, showing of his album, um, The Life of Pablo, where he literally just walked into Madison Square Garden, plugged up his laptop, and played the album in front of people as the uh, as his models were on stage. And um, you know, honestly, that was what I thought was uh, some sort of legendary. I think Kanye West at this very moment is unslanderable. Um, he, <laughs> but, you know, he's had this problem where he blows up on people on Twitter. Obviously, the Wiz beef became a big deal and. People like to say that oh, I don't really like Kanye, this, that, and the other. This man had 20 million people tune in to watch a live stream of his album. That's never been done before. It was on Tidal, which people don't really like Tidal, but people were on there. And uh, you know, the the the, the Madison, he sold he sold out Madison Square Garden for an album listening in 10 minutes. Madison Square Garden, which is the arguably the most, I guess, influential venue in yeah. sports in the country. Yeah. So I mean. How, how, do, how do you feel about that, Taylor? I mean, I think, you tuned in. I think uh, Kanye West is a genius. I think he, I think he knows what he's doing, and I think he knows that some people may not like him, but any publicity is good publicity, even if it's bad publicity. And he's, that's been his career, his whole uh, music career. But the guy makes good music, and that's why people tune in, and that's why people are watching, because they want to see what's Kanye West going to do next. He, he's, he's got this. He's got this, uh, he's created a following just based on him, his personality. And of course his music good, so you gotta listen. My opinion on Kanye is like I'm, I'm so neutral on it just because they say they don't like him as a person. I really don't like him as a person except for the fact that we both have an asinine side. So to that degree, I'm relatable to him. But you know, he's, he's done some extreme things in, in his heyday, especially after the um, graduation album, in my opinion. But to have that kind of influence, to have that power, there's no bigger statement than saying I sold out MSG and under and under a quarter of an hour. It didn't even read like the ten minutes, that is all. And and people loved it apparently, they they tuned in. If you go to a website that you hate, especially in this day and age of digital media, and you stay there, the reason you're staying there is more influential than, than needs to be said. That was the first time I've been on title, probably the last time. Unless Kanye West does another album. Exactly. I mean, he, he, depending on when he drops this album, he probably is going to drop it exclusively on Tidal. If not, he'll really? drop it to the world. We're not, not sure. So really, it's it's uh, at this point, we got to figure out where we, where we go from here. And honestly, you know, just from my review of the album so far, um, you know, I listened to it yesterday, watching it live on stream. I was supposed to be prepping a show that I had yesterday. Totally kind of just blew it uh, because I was distracted by the live stream. Got it done. But yeah. really, like, I was distracted for the whole day. And really, no one can really capture my attention for an hour and a half show when I got other stuff to do than a man, Kanye West. Kanye West. You know what I'm saying? You talked, about, you talked about earlier, you know, a lot of people don't really like his personality. And, 
think that ah uh, because his personality is not that good he can't be a good artist well honestly kanye is you know maybe the most influential person in music right now and maybe, maybe oh absolutely just in general i mean because you know his, his shoes obviously are very popular people tune in to watch this i mean i think other artists that could probably do this would probably be drake or any other that's the thing big it, names for a guy like so for a man kanye west to convince people to buy shoes that aren't even that fashionable and in my opinion ugly this guy's got people you know yeah by the by the tail this guy's got it wrapped up it, it, it's just his influence. He's been a very powerful person since since his initial album, the College Dropout, and that and referencing that, my only hope with this album, and, and of course you guys listen to it, I haven't run into it yet, but my hope with this album is that it brings back that kind of soul and meaning that College Dropout for. Well, you said it's a gospel album, right? He did, yeah. Actually, the first song, Ultra Light Beam, um, it features Chance the Rapper and a very popular gospel artist Kirk Franklin you know actually it was funny when I listened to it the first time I had to kind of take a moment because that choir came in and they had the vocals behind it and the singing and like it took me back to church honestly so I kind of I kind of caught the Holy Spirit for a second which is I don't know if I was supposed to do that on a Kanye album but really it hit me so I'm really I what I'm saying is you know um this this album is really something special I think he actually he brought in some extra people of course Rihanna's on it Future's on it Metro Boomin's on it um, he actually pulled Frank Ocean out of whatever Ocean deep abyss he he that he's been in. Exactly. Yeah. On the last song, Wolves, which, you know, he actually originally released um, last year. And he actually performed it on SNL. It features Vic Mensa and Sia. And uh, now on the outro of the song, which is the outro of the album, Frank Ocean comes in, lays down a couple verses. And uh, that was something that the internet kind of exploded on. Oh, yeah. I mean, rightfully so. My question is, who's Pablo? That's that is the real question. Um, there, in my research, there's two possible options. Um, he, Kanye West always talked about Pablo Picasso as being somebody that he, I guess, looked up to um, as a influence really? in the world. So I'm thinking it's either Pablo Picasso, the the painter, artist, yes, the, artist, the artist, or it is Pablo Escobar from the show, um, the Netflix original series. Well, Narcos. Pablo Escobar okay, is but, a real guy. Yeah. <laughs> how do you how do you twist the life of Pablo Escobar into a gospel? I've seen unfortunately yeah. I've had to sit through the torch of my dad watching nearly every single one of those seventy episodes of Pablo Escobar. How do you twist that into gospel? Because Pablo Escobar did some foul stuff. Maybe Pablo is uh, some new Pablo, we don't know. Actually you know Pete Pablo? Who is Pete Pablo? Oh man, y'all are young. You know Pini Pablo? I have no idea. Freak a leak? Oh man. Anyone out there listening? You know Pini Pablo, Register. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, the uh, the person and that's it's actually funny, there's a video during one of Kanye's concerts, he was uh, on stage talking and someone yelled, Kanye for president twenty twenty and he was like, Yeah, I'm running for president twenty twenty. It turns out that dude's name, the dude who yelled at him, his name was Pablo as well, so it could have been that Pablo. Could have been that Pablo. It could have been that's his Pablo. B- BP, his his, his vice president? Possible. We don't know. 2020. I thought Jay Z would be as a repeat, but then. Sure. You really like? Just think about Kim Kardashian being in the White House as our first. Kim lady. Kardashian, first lady. Yeah. I feel like Kanye was. Um, first lady. I feel like first, he, first first lady to have a sex tape out. I mean, publicly. I don't. I don't publicly. Know, I mean, yeah. You know, I feel like we're not gonna step on those toes. But we won't. Yeah, we're not. We're not. We're not going down that corridor. Oh, okay, but but isn't that much of a really bad state? We're saying that Kanye is that much. Of a legitimate option to be president. You, 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 All right, we're not talking about that. I know. I'm. I'm just. I'm just saying. If Donald Trump is a is a legitimate option at this point, he just came to Baton Rouge yesterday. <laughs> then anything is possible. Anything is possible in this in this country. Kanye West for president, 2020.